Being in this pandemic for over two years, Faith Mendiola knew exactly what to do when her seven-year-old son Darren awoke one evening with flu-like symptoms. The next morning he had a fever. So I decided, oh, you know what, since I'm going to go get Nalissa tested, I might as well have him tested, right? And sure enough, he popped positive for COVID. Her daughter, a senior at Notre Dame, had also tested after the school informed her that she was identified as a close contact. She tested negative. But taking the necessary precautions, Mendiola, along with her girls, Nalissa and Haley, knew they needed to quarantine. I have to isolate them, rearrange our household so they can stay in their own rooms, um, have to designate an area for me and my son. So, you know, of course, I have to take care of him. Um, we have to quarantine for five days. So today was five, the, day, the fifth day, and uh, me and the two girls got tested. So we're just currently waiting back for our results. The mother of three said Darren's symptoms have been mild. He had a mild congestion and a slight fever, nothing um, too alarming. Um, it's a it's a common to me. It was a common cold, like a like a common flu. So I was able to just hydrate him. He still has his ten, uh, sense of taste and smell. While Mendiola has taken everything in stride, she admits it has been mentally exhausting. Being a mom, having to make sure that your kids are okay and you can't leave and there's nothing you can really do. It's mostly a waiting game. So it's a, uh, it's stressful. It's, it's pretty, pretty stressful. And how are her kids holding up? I have to remind them constantly daily about, you know, um, having to not touch their face, please always wash your hands, sanitize before you go in your room. Um, but other than that, they're troopers. They're troopers. Um, they they want to be together. They, they're always checking on their brother, asking me how their brother is doing, asking me if I'm okay, telling me they're okay. Um, but other than that, they've learned to, to make uh, to make the best of it. With her daughters attending private schools and her son attending a GDOE school, Mendola said the schools are trying to do their best. It just sucks that there's never enough staffing. Um, the numbers are rising. Um, there's not enough room for our children. Um, I think my middle school and high school girls do know how to, to take care of themselves and try to keep safe. It's just my seven-year-old. Um, it's hard to keep kids away from each other, having to play with each other at that age. And when it comes to vaccinations, Mandula says prior to testing positive, Darren was scheduled to receive his vaccine at the end of the month, while her and her daughters are vaccinated but not boosted. But I wanted to know a little bit more about, you know, the vaccine when it comes to kids. I'm, I'm all for vaccine vaccinating our children because at these days there's just so much um, in our foods and the way we live that don't, that aren't, that, that's not healthy. In the end, Mendola says if you feel the need to vaccinate your kids, then do so. There's only so many things that we can do. And, you know, like with my girls, they play sports and I made it their choice to get vaccinated. And they had to get, in order for them to play, uh, they had to get vaccinated. And now they want to get boosted. So, you know, I just try and give them as much information about vaccine and I make it their choice. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfris.